back to a new video today guys we are in our redstone testing world on java edition so we're in uh we started out a new world on it, uh, our redstone world in java edition as you guys know we do have a redstone testing world in bedrock edition which is on the ps4 uh where i test uh ps4 uh well bedrock uh redstone builds and today I thought we could uh, go on to Java Edition because I've got an idea for a video that I'm uh, doing right now uh, off and I had an idea for a build uh, and you'll see this in the video because um, basically I needed like a, uh, a a small door like a small redstone door and as I didn't couldn't think of anyone and I didn't want to copy anyone's. Uh I came started this red testing world. Don't worry about uh the door in the, the back. Uh that is not finished yet. So this isn't finished. Uh it's just basically the outline of it. It works, but it's just not correct. So let's get started on the video. So basically we have a single uh redstone door. So as you hit the lever. Sorry, on the other side. Let's just turn it. So as you can tell, it's open, and once you press this, it locks the door, and it also uh, sends a redstone signal into the light, which will then tell you that it's locked. So if you go through and unlock it, uh, and then you've got to hit that on the way out, which will lock the door for you. So then you can't get in. And once you click that, you can enter the house and then lock it and stuff like that. It's pretty basic. Uh, this was the first version that I did of that build. Um, so it's basically just slime blocks connected up, uh, which picks up these. But I did find that the slime blocks would pick up uh, if we grab a, just a random any, any block. So if I put that there, the red stuff, it would pick up. The block as well so i can actually have a door but it's basically the same slight variation of uh, this system here so the redstone on the slabs which connects up to that piston which connects up to that and can be turned on and off by this switch which uh, opens it and then you click that and that closes it as well so it's like that variation if we remove this and then we'll show you what it looks like oh I just removed the one part we're trying not to remove just try not to break it now because just try and remember where I put all the redstone I maybe should have done uh, two copies of this I'll also show you how to build this it's not too hard uh, to build it um, so don't worry about it being over complicated. I'm sure there's probably like easier ways of making this. Um, but right now this is all I've come up with. Oh, I'm going to hate this. I'm going to have to use a... So basically that's how it works. So the redstone signal comes out of the lever into here. Which connects up to uh, this piston which uh, causes the piston to extend and also sends a redstone signal up the slabs into this piston which also uh, makes that piston contract as well well pulse makes it go out and then it's all connected to two uh, two levers so you can turn it on and off so basically once you turn it off it relieves all the redstone signal from the pistons causes uh, the pistons to open and then that causes it to lock so now you guys know how it's uh, how it works let's get over to building it so let's start building it uh, all you guys need really is uh, smooth slabs or any type of slabs redstone sticky pistons a lever and then spruce planks or any planks you want uh, so basically the first thing is to what I did was I dug 
uh, a three by three gap. So if we do that, do uh, I went down by three. Just because it was easier. And then as I'm going to put uh, it here. So you need that facing up with that on top. And then you'll need a slab going into this bit with a red stone on it. Which will then connect up to that. And then you've got a if you put, uh, get yourself sandstone and you put a bit uh, there and then you add another red stone and then above that you basically need uh, the next section so that is another slab so if you take out this and that'll be slab there with a red stone there and then basically you just got to build up a tower so the way I do it is um, Doing something like that basically. So we place that on top. Oh no, we're we're too high. Uh, <laughs> so if we do this, place that on there, that will then allow us to put that redstone up, and then basically we just gotta copy that up. So then next bit will be there. And you just gotta do that five times so one two three and then another attempt will be there so that all connects up I uh, don't need the uh, back bits I just added that so it's easier to do it so now you've got that section there then you can do one more which means uh, you will then put the piston in into that section. So if you look up, put your piston in. Uh, that will then go down there. Then you can add that. And then you go to this section here. And then you just connect up the redstone to a lever. So you place a block there. Then you can connect this section here up into, if we say, like just a sandstone block with a lever on it. And then once you hit that, that will work with that side. If we just move these, that should work the rest of it. And then what you got to make sure you do is come up here, don't do what I did, and place a bit of redstone. So you've got to make sure you put that redstone there or it won't work. So that is the tutorial of how it's built. Uh, you can add light lights to it like I have over there, uh, just to show that it's locked. And then basically you can come through here. And then basically just walk through. Oh no, it's locked. Boom. Come through. Flick another lever. Uh, so if we place that there. And press that. Boom, it's locked. So this is a simple, simple build. Uh, I'm not sure if you can build it in Bedrock Edition. I don't know. I know you can build it in Java. Because it's Java Edition. Uh, I hope you guys have liked the video. Uh, if you do... Don't forget to check out some more of my redstone builds. Uh, there is going to be a cool redstone piston house coming soon. I'm just working on that. I had to build up the house yesterday. And this is basically what I'm going to add to the front door. I just thought, why not? Um, it'd just be a fun thing to do. It'd just be random. So I will see you guys next time. If you did really enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And check me out in the future. Bye guys.